The Mariners are a young team. That makes them an understandably inconsistent team. But there's one area they need to grow and tell you what that is next. Forget cable, switch to Frontier. The Fios Triple Play brings dedicated 100% fiber optics to your home. Fios TV, 15 by 5 internet and digital phone for $119.99 per month with two-year price protection plan on qualifying service. FrontierPacificNW.com. Look, it's going to be an up and down ride with the Mariners this year as the young players get older, get better, get more experience. There are going to be days and weeks where you think that they look like they're right on the verge of contending. There's going to be other days and weeks when they look like they're nowhere close. But the one thing I would really like to see them improve in over the course of a long season is grinding out at bats, taking each at bat as if it is the last one you're ever going to get. That means close pitches right on the corner. Sometimes you got to take them and make the pitcher work a little harder. It means when you get down one, two, or 2-2, two, two, fouling off a couple of good curveballs or sliders or change-ups or even fastballs to make sure that when that cookie comes, you're able to crush it. And that's the one thing you don't see from the M's, and it was very much on display the last couple days as they battle against Boston and New York. Two teams that do do that, that do take every single at-bat with them as if it's the last one they're going to have. They grind them out, they force the pitcher to throw them a strike that they can handle, and when they get that strike, that's the ball they clobber. When the Mariners are able to do that, you're going to see less of these seven or eight inning performances against them with pitchers who are able to have two, three, five, ten pitch innings and really start getting into those soft bullpens where you can really do some damage.